You can surf around the web and find lots of wild game recipes and alter them to your liking. And that's what I've done. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to fix venison. I found a venison roast recipe on the web and I made a few personal touches to it. The recipe calls for about two quarts of water and I like to bring about three cups of the water up to boiling temperature so the ingredients will dissolve and mix thoroughly. The original recipe called for a cup of salt for about five pounds of roast. I've reduced that to about a quarter cup for a healthier recipe. I also substitute brown sugar in place of the regular sugar. And while it dissolves, I'll get the rest of the ingredients mixed into this bowl. I've already added a half a tablespoon of thyme and a half a tablespoon of sage to the bowl. And now I'm going to add the other ingredients. Cloves add a very tasty flavor to roast and shish kebab, but don't overdo this ingredient. Since the meat is already cut up into cubes, it won't take too much brown clove to flavor the meat. And remember, the longer the meat is in the marinade, the stronger the clove flavor is going to be. I plan on using about 3 pounds of meat and marinate it for about 24 hours, so I'm using a, about a teaspoon of brown clove. I've also added about a half a tablespoon of tarragon, a half a tablespoon of soy sauce, and about two and a half tablespoons of black pepper to the bowl. And after I've mixed the ingredients, I poured them into the pan with the salt and brown sugar brine. You don't want the hot or warm water to start cooking your meat. So I've added some ice cubes and cold water. I've got about a quart and a half of the marinade. I'm going to pour it into the plastic bowl and then rinse this pan with another half a quart of cold water. Bring the marinade up to about two quarts like the recipe calls for. Okay, we're going to add the meat and let it sit in the fridge overnight. This marinade is great for venison backstrap. But when I'm processing game, I always separate all the large whole muscles. And I use variations of this recipe for any whole muscle roast or the shish kebab. Now I'm going to make a quick and simple basting sauce for brushing on the shish kebabs. You can take about a half a cup of mayonnaise and add a generous amount of any seasoning blend that you like. I'm using Paul Perdome's Salt Free Magic. And it's one of my favorite blends seasoning for this sauce. I add the seasoning to the mayonnaise until I get the color and flavor that I love. I've cut a pound of bacon down the middle, so I've got a lot of short strips of bacon that we're going to wrap around the cubes of meat. You can see I've already prepared all my vegetables in separate bowls. And now I think we're ready to build some shish kebabs. I put the meat and vegetables on the same skewer. Okay, our skewers are built, so we're going to use some of that sauce I made yesterday. And we're going to baste it on the skewers. It kind of keeps the, the vegetables and meat from burning. And of course, some of this sauce mixture might appear to burn, but it's really adding a little bit of flavor. Okay, the coals look ready. Let's add some skewers to the fire. Get these babies going. Cook them for about 20 minutes, turning them every couple of minutes or so. Of course, you see I've got the metal skewers, so you want to be careful. And I use some pliers to uh, turn them a little bit. Boy, they're looking good. I 
I've had to start a couple of them later, so we're going to take these ones that are done and let's get them off. Mm -hmm. And then move some of the ones I started way over to the side. I'm out from the rain, I'm this message. I hope you do too. And that's a wrap.